Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for September 3rd. September 3rd is the 246th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 247th in leap years with 119 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is dividend. Dividend is a noun with a couple of meanings, two or three meanings, maybe three or four. <laughs> I think they're mostly related though. I think we most often think of a dividend as a sum of money paid regularly, usually quarterly, by a company to its shareholders out of its profits or reserves. In this context, the word dividend can mean an individual's share of a dividend or a payment divided among a number of people. Dividend can also mean a benefit from an action or policy, such as persistence pays dividends. In mathematics, a dividend is a number to be divided by another number. The word dividend comes to us from Anglo-Norman French, Latin before that, from a root word that means divide. Earliest documented use is the late 1400s. Dividend. And with that, we will start with September of 1666, when there was a big fire in London, England. Started in a bakery a little after midnight on September 2nd, which happened to be a Sunday morning. Got out of hand pretty quickly, and on September 3rd, 1666, a business center known as the Royal Exchange burned down. That fire, by the way, is known as the Great Fire of London. The Great Fire. The Great Fire of London. This is the birthday of physicist Carl David Anderson, born September 3, 1905. He studied cosmic rays and discovered the positron and the muon. From what I've read, I can kind of grasp an oversimplified example of a positron. It's an elementary particle, like an electron, except that when they collide, they're not electron and positron anymore, but are transformed into photons. Photons are created. Positron and electron are eliminated, eradicated. The positron and electron are no more, but instead there are two photons. Way oversimplified description. <laughs> if I have any physicists or science people who know a lot more about it in my viewing audience, I would appreciate <laughs> some commentary about it. Let me know in the comment section. A little bit more about it. As to muons, I didn't understand that enough even to give you an oversimplified description, but I know they're important. Positrons and muons were discovered by Carl David Anderson, winning him a Nobel Prize in Physics, and he lived to the age of 85. Now, during World War II, along with all the gunfighting, a plan was implemented in order to restrict supplies to Nazi Germany and later on fascist Italy. This was known as the Economic War. On September 3rd, 1939, the United Kingdom and France began a naval blockade of Germany to keep the Germans from being able to get raw materials such as minerals, metals, textiles, and food, anything really that might help them in their war efforts was a remarkable effort, and they were able to keep that up until the end of the war in 1945. So they started in 1939, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, six years, six years they did that. This is the birthday of Don Brewer, born September 3rd, 1948. He's a drummer and co-lead vocalist and only continuous member of the band Grand Funk Railroad. I think I saw them in concert back in the 70s. He wrote a song called, We're an American Band, if you've heard that one. <laughs> he has played for several other bands and musical artists and has been honored as one of the most influential drummers in the history of rock. Edward Esland Cummings was a prolific American poet, painter, essayist, author, and playwright. When I say prolific, I mean it because he wrote somewhere around 2,900 poems along with the novels, plays, and essays that he wrote. Now, 
by poems, I don't mean the, the rhythmic rhyming kind. He was more of a free form verse guy, but he has the kind of creative ethic that I admire. He wrote poetry daily, every day, every day he wrote poetry from the time that he was eight years old until he was 22. He had an unusual style with poetry, as I may have mentioned here, and rarely used his full name. We know him as E.E. E. Cummings. He's regarded as the second most widely read poet in the United States after Robert Frost. E.E. E. Cummings passed away on September 3rd, 1962, at the age of 67. On September 3rd, 1967, in Sweden, traffic changed overnight from driving on the left side of the road, like they do in Britain, to driving on the right side of the road, like they do in the United States. Overnight, that's the way to do it. Announce it widely and just make the switch. That is the way to do it. Today's song is Sunshine Superman by Donovan number one on September 3rd, 1966. This song was released in the U.S. in July of 1966, and while Donovan as a musical artist was quite popular, Sunshine Superman was the only song of his to reach the top of the Billboard Hot 100. Sunshine Superman by Donovan, the quintessential bright summer sing-along, number one, September 3rd, 1966 link in the description. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that is called No Really. <laughs> you can also find me on Rumble, Parlor, BitChute, and Gitter. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>